Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Practical Diplomacy. How do you manage staying sane and neutral in the midst of so many political messages? Asked a fellow diplomat. And it is an amazing question, because while you are carrying out your diplomatic duties at headquarters or in a foreign posting, you are constantly bombarded by direct or indirect content, emails, documents, news clips, anything, which inform you of your government's official position on dozens of topics, uh, subconsciously telling you that this should be your opinion too. Uh, or if you are from a little bit autocratic country, then maybe even directly telling you that this should be your opinion. Uh, well, first of all, I hope you have seen uh, episode 19 of the first series called uh, The Dilemma of Honesty versus Loyalty. If you haven't seen it, uh, go check it out. Um, there you can hear what to do about situations when uh, your opinion and your organization's, perhaps government's opinion, are very different. Uh, but further than that, uh, this question is very interesting. How to stay sane in the midst of, well, let's call it political brainwash in your organization. Uh, I think what you can always reach out to is the so-called scientific mindset or scientific modus operandi. Uh, as I see it, the opposite of this is the political mindset in which things are simple, black or white. Background information is only selectively collected to support the political interest and where everyone stands on a rigid platform, not being able to comprehend differing views dismissing all such things as tricks of the evil enemy. This is how politicians function. And uh, if public servants would all function like this, it would have catastrophic consequences for society. And in certain places, that is exactly what has been happening. Um, if you have a scientific mindset, then you will want to analyze every single issue based on reality. In reality, complex systems like social or diplomatic issues are never simple. So don't try to simplify them. Try to understand them in their entirety. Gather all available data, information from all sources, including those affected by the issue and independent sources. Make up your own mind, regardless of conscious or subconscious messages, peer pressure or political pressure. And although you know that you built your conclusions on a solid foundation of reality, Still, stay open for differing views, knowing that you might be wrong. You might any time be lacking a key information, which would change the picture. But when you encounter simplified, biased, not fact-based political arguments, you should recognize it. And that should never affect your way of thinking. I have tried to utilize this approach for many years now, and I think this way my mind is more conscious in recognizing these patterns and therefore, my mental hygiene is more protected from political propaganda. Dear friends, thank you for watching. Uh, tell me in the comments, please, if uh, you have some good solutions to this uh, phenomenon. Please subscribe to the channel if you've not done it yet. Have a great day. Keep promoting peace and uh, see you in the next episode.